Hello there. So today I'll be going through some tips to help you in the brand new Dragon's Delight event in DML. In this event we have to give each of our dragons three items in order to make them happy and this gives us one point in the event. If we collect 130 points then we can earn ourselves the rare Sandcastle Dragon and if we place first on the leaderboard we can also win the new Vulture Dragon. But first off, I'll start with some little tips and tricks to managing the tubes correctly. If we want to add new items to our tubes, it costs us 120 berries each time. And this gives us three items that we can use. But we can only give the bottom items to our dragons since the others are stuck in the tubes at the top. Which means that we need to think a little strategically with which items we give to which dragons. You want to avoid using the trash all button at all costs because this will basically waste all of the items that you have in all of the tubes since it will completely wipe all three. So the trick is to try and fully deplete singular tubes so that you can then use 120 berries to generate another three items rather than just wasting them by trashing. If every item in the tubes is just one item then trashing would probably be handy but I wouldn't recommend trashing 95% of the time. Rather than wasting items you should instead refresh your dragons using the green arrow button that is next to each of them. It takes an hour to reset them but this is much better than wasting a bunch of items just because you're impatient. Remember, items cost berries, and berries only come back from cooldown every 6 hours. You should also always be looking at the items above the bottom item in each tube, because sometimes it's worthwhile to use the bottom item on one dragon so that you can get two items to drop down that you need to complete a totally different dragon. Always try to finish off one dragon before you start on another two, since the new dragon that appears may have a more desirable set of required items for you to give it than any existing ones. So the tubes are mostly just about optimising of item gifting, and get that down and you've got half of the event figured out. The other half of the event relates to berry collection, and this works almost exactly the same as it did in old castle style events. You can see on the front event screen that we have 6 quests that each give up to a max of 200 berries every 6 hours. This means that we can earn a max amount of 1200 berries over a 6 hour period. The easiest quest to complete is the Feed Dragons quest, since all that you need to do is buy a Fire Dragon Egg, wait a few seconds for it to hatch, and then feed it up, requiring very little food in the process, and rinse and repeat until the, full, the pool is fully depleted for the quest. Second easiest quest to complete is the Win Battles quest. You can either redo the first map ballot battle fight over and over again, or if you don't have any portal energy then arena battles and dungeon battles also count towards this quest. You get 25 berries per fight, so you only need to do 8 fights every 6 hours to fully deplete the pool. Next up we have the catch creatures quest. This doesn't require any real thought since you just need to wait for the flying thingamajiggies to respawn so then you can just touch them and then they're collected. This gives 6 berries per click so you need to click 34 of them all together but they only spawn on islands that you own which is pretty nice. Next we have collecting gold. You get 4 berries per click of your habitat which means that you'll have to collect it 50 times within 6 hours to deplete the pool. Fire habitats are really good for this since they fill up nice and quick so you can collect from them quickly as well. This is why I suggest always keeping at least a few fire habitats since they can make events like these just a little bit easier. Next is collect food. This can be a little bit tricky because the food that takes the least time to finish also gives the least amount of berries. If you can afford it, spring cherries that take an hour work really well and give a lot of food in the process. But if they're a little bit too pricey for you, then I recommend using blue hazel food, which takes two hours to finish but is pretty cheap overall and you have time 
to put in at least two lots per pool timer refresh. And the final collecting berries quest we have is for breeding dragons. Again, the length of the breed time determines how many berries you're going to get given. If you want a six hour breed to keep in perfect time with the event pool refreshes, then breed the fire plus metal dragons together. This will always give you a guaranteed war dragon with a six hour breeding time, which will fully deplete the quest pool for you. So those are my main tips and tricks for the Dragon's Delight event, but I'm sure there are a few other little tips out there. So if you have any of your own, then feel free to share them below with everyone too. We do also have a DML Discord server where we all share our tips and tricks on there as well. So if you want to come and join us and get help in anything DML related, then just click the link in the video description. The member of the week last week on our server was Scoops the Ice Cream Dragon. Thank you for being such an active contributor to the server and sharing your thoughts with everyone so often. We will be deciding on the next Discord member of the week this Sunday as well, so I hope you can come along and join us then. But aside from all that, I do wish you the very best of luck with the Dragon's Delight event, since getting good items is also going to help out a ton in the long run. But thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.